So the Republican presidential nominee, McCain, uh, has stated that he feels that before he can engage in debate with the Democrats, they must first apologize for being wrong about Iraq. Well, uh, I've got two things I'm going to say about that. Uh, and I'm going to start with the first. The first is that Republicans have this strange tendency to let a little success go to their heads. Um, and when it comes to Iraq, we've seen very little success. Um, there has been a small downtrend in the violence recently, mostly due to influences outside the control of the military. The surge had nothing to do with it. Um, but we haven't gotten rid of the violence. That place is by no means secure. Uh, they've got 60% unemployment, 25% homeless refugees, one hour of electricity per day. You know, the infrastructure is in tatters, the economy is in shambles. That place is a disaster area. It's like a tornado went through there. Um, that place is just in tatters, completely in tatters. Uh, and trying to spin that into some kind of success story because there's been a recent downtrend in violence is uh, <laughs> is delusional. It's absolutely delusional. Um, you know, it's not just liberals who want us out of there. The Iraqis themselves want us out. Uh, I believe it's like 75, 80 percent of the Iraqis want us out. Uh, 50 to 60 percent think it's okay to shoot at us until we leave. You know, that's we're we're not guests. We're occupiers there. There's a big difference. Um, what we have there, and, and the Democrats are right. They said that this would become a quagmire, and that's exactly what it is. Uh, quagmire being a situation which we cannot win and we cannot leave. And McCain has all but admitted this. You know, and ask, you know, are we going to stay there 50 years? You know, make it 100. 100 years of occupation at 100 billion dollars a year. That is quagmire, you know, staying there indefinitely. We can't leave. We can't leave. How is that winning? We're losing. We're losing a hundred billion dollars a year. That's losing. Do you understand that? <laughs> Iraq is no success story, not by any stretch of the imagination. Anyone who says otherwise is utterly delusional, right? Okay. Two. Um, I've been known to apologize occasionally when I've done something wrong, and, and I've, I feel it's good to apologize. But if the Republicans are calling on the Democrats to apologize, I would say that it's the Republicans that have got some apologizing to do. Uh, I would say, you know, if you want apologies, we could just have this big confessional and everyone can be really happy and just get it all off their chest about all the stuff that's gone wrong. Yeah, that'd be great. but. You first, all right? We've got a nine trillion dollar debt, okay? Federal debt. We've got um, the economy, which is in tatters because of the uh, bogus mortgages, uh, the subprime lending, which uh, was deregulated three years prior and now is crashing. You know, who would have ever seen that coming? Well, obviously the Republicans didn't see that coming. And they're responsible for it. They deregulate, and this is the result: crash. All right. So, um, uh, what other things? Oh yes, let's have some apologies for the sheer and utter lawlessness of the executive branch, uh, with things like executive privilege, where the executive can run things in private. They delete emails. They refuse to show up for uh, congressional hearings. They uh, they've got. Uh, Bush has these signing statements, uh, warrantless wiretapping, firing of U.S. attorneys, the, the lawlessness that the Republicans have turned a blind eye to. It's just, it's mind-boggling, mind-boggling how they could ever stand up there and say that they need an apology from the Democrats. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, that's, that's ridiculous. If you want, if you feel like we should just have a big confessional, everyone get it off their chest, I'm all for that. But you first, all right? And that's all I got to say for now.
Thanks.